By Mr. Simonov. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I represent the Omsk Institute. It's not a secret for anybody that the radiation therapy reduces the risk of local regional regressions. We have already gathered the data on that in our country and the tumor control. It's important for the overall survival rate. Besides, uh, radiation therapy is uh, most effective for patients with uh, negative uh, breast cancer patients with uh, local regressions. Uh, anyway, uh, regressions uh, occur and they depend on the morphology of tumor volume of a D1 therapy and some other factors. Local breast cancer regressions are characterized by great variability in terms of sensitivity towards chemotherapy. Uh, they may result from the damaged tissue after previous treatment. And one of the pillars is that uh, Patients have radio resistance and lower sensitivity to ionized radiation. Neutron therapy is applied for roughly 25% of patients, and that is regarded as one of the way to overcome the photon resistant patients. Ionic radiation is more effective because it contributes to the death of radio resistance tumor cells as well as those uh, cells in perineal uh, spaces and uh, blood cell flow and so on. Since 1994, we gathered enormous experience on proton th neutron therapy for locally advanced breast cancer and those methods are protected by patents. Uh, having said that, I should uh, mention two main areas. I studied the advantages of ionized uh, neutron therapy for patients with negative breast cancer prognosis after radical mastectomy. That's our first priority. And our second priority is treatment with neutron therapy of patients with local uh, breast cancer regressions as the uh, negative form for further conventional radiation treatment Ready RT is exercised either by photon or proton. At our institute, we offer the following method. The purpose of the study was to introduce the remote results of effective application of uh, rapid neutrons of 6.3 for regressive tumor. The first group, patients with local regressions, comprised 114 patients. We had the um, experimental group and control group from the experimental group. All the patients got systemic chemotherapy with different schedules, and the uh, that was the control group and the experimental group got neutron therapy. And for 44 patients, neutron therapy was combined with photon therapy if there were indications for that, with indications being originally big uh, regression and invasive um, tissues. The, in control group, uh, they received electronic therapy for with 60 is a gray. Afterwards, both groups had chemotherapy and systemic therapy with indications. We developed indications to neutron and uh, neutron photon therapy primary 
uh, and secondary recurrences of the breast cancer. Um, uh, edema is infiltrative form of breast cancer. Patients with radio resi resistant form of local relapse after comprehensive treatment. Uh, primary breast cancer with preoperational radiotherapy with uh, uh, big fractions. This concerns rather historical aspect. And radio resistant relapses of breast cancer after previous electronic therapy um, in the area of anterior breast wall, depending on the, on the spread of the relapse, there were one of four field of radiation with certain dimensions. The field of radiation is in line with the spread of local relapse of breast cancer. Single focal zone was 1.8 uh, uh, gray. And there were three, five sessions of neutron therapy, depending on uh, the spread and degree of invasion of uh, relapsing uh, lesion. This is how treatment is exercised. The beam of neutrons is perpendicular to the uh, breast wall of a patient. As to the efficacy, all patients in that group that received exclusively neutron therapy, uh, all these patients uh, had f full regression of the relapsing uh, lesion. In the group of patients who were neutron photon therapy, full regression was observed uh, in big volume, 93 percent of cases. At the stage of our study, we also conducted monitoring of indicators of tumor marker SA153 to assess efficacy of the proposed method of treatment. This slide shows a positive trend towards positive dynamic in terms of comparison of this indicator, which in the beginning was 95 percent, and after the end of newton photon therapy, the mean indication went down to 40 units per milliliter. This is quite an interesting indicator. Here you see there was clinical examples, full regression of relapsing tumor of breast cancer after neutron, neutron photon therapy on the first, uh, in the first case, this is a 57 year old patient, full regression, uh, follow up period four months. And in the second case, a 36 year old patient, three months of follow up and we see regression of relapsing um, uh, lesion morphologically confirmed. One of the stages of our study was assessment of the dependence of photon equivalent dose, um, considering heterogeneity, because the beam of neutrons is perpendicular to the anterior breast wall, and we had to study uh, distribution on the lung tissue and with standard single dose that we use, such as 1.6, 1.8 gray, the incoming single dose of fast neutrons at the depth of th four centimeter from the surface of the breast wall was 1.4, 1 1.5. And with, with increase of single focal zone, and the number of sessions of neutron therapy, of course, we see the increase of photon equivalent dose on the lung tissue. At the same time, the total uh, photon equivalent dose in the lung in the depth of four centimeters is within the range from 33 gray, which is in the limit of tolerance doses for one lung. Together with that, we studied and we observed uh, some radiation damages of the lung tissue after this method, a local pneumofibrosis in 14 patients. In case of solely neutron therapy, three out of 26 patients had uh, fibrosis of the first degree. In case of mixed radiation, radiographic burden on the tissue 
uh, was uh, increasing because that was additional radiation, which results in additional toxicity and manifestations of radio damages of lung tissue. And uh, it was diagnosed in 11 patients in this group of the mixed neutron photon radiation. As to survival uh, rate without local relapses, the frequency of local relapses in this patient was three cases. In all three cases, the relapse was diagnosed along the edge of the previous neutron photon therapy, which in our opinion is related to the spread of uh, the relapsing lesion and unfavorable development. In the control group, in the group that received solar electron therapy, local relapses were registered in 17 patients and the data obtained in studying the frequency of local relapse were reflected in the indicators of uh, relapse-free uh, survival, which was 87% versus electron therapy, which is a significant indic uh, indicator. This is a seven-year uh, follow-up uh, of about 84 months. As estimated static overall survival as to uh, metastatic free survival, we didn't find any statistically significant difference in the cases of seven-year survival, and the overall survival was um, uh, uh, showed the increase of survival rate versus patients who were solely on electronic uh, radiation. The second group of patients, uh, those patients without relapses, but uh, with uh, the advanced breast cancer, uh, C2N01. In this group, there were metastases. All in all, in this group of patients, there were 113 people. Uh, seven patients had uh, two or three courses of neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, based on their schemes, uh, radical mastectomy, and uh, the stages of adjuvant treatment. Uh, there was radiation therapy. The group were involved 65 patients, which went through neutron therapy uh, on the anterior chest wall and the total was 30 iso gray and the, another group with electronic uh, therapy on anterior chest wall with the indications and the presence of regional met uh, metastasis in regional lymph nodes were additionally provided the radiotherapy in the zone of lymph outflow and uh, we determined the indications for uh, the neutron therapy on the anterior chest wall that was initial spread of tumor process D3 to 4 invasion of lymph vessels and the growth of tumor into the derma, multicentric host, as well as clinical morphological characteristics of the tumor. Uh, infiltrative form of the tumor, receptors of steroid uh, uh, hormones of the tumor method of neutron therapy is identical to the previous one, excluding the fact that using the area of radiation with fast neutrons, it, it, is, it is fully in line with the line of post-operative uh, scar at a distance of 5 centimeters. Single dose is 1.4, 1.8 gray, and um, here we did not add radiation by uh, photon beam. All patients uh, tolerated radiotherapy quite well and in full volume, and radiation skin reactions were moderate. Only in some cases we registered uh, that uh, epidermitis, which requires uh, systemic therapy in the form of laser therapy. After four sessions of neutron therapy on anterior chest wall, six out of 15 patients had uh, mild ventilation uh, disorders, obstructive type. Uh, for uh, eight messages, there were local pneumofibrosis in four out of 65 patients. As to relapse free survival, here yeah, statistically significant difference of this indicator is seen in the studied group versus patients of the control group. 
and only two on two occasions we had the local regression for the um, studied group of patients non metastatic uh, survival rate was also indifferent uh, regarding the two groups uh, that we ex explain by metastasis at the earlier stage seven year survival rate has statistical significance here and is higher compared to the control group that means that the um, neutron therapy that is applied to the uh, chest wall for breast cancer patients has a clinical efficacy and uh, improves the in indicators of overall and the regression survival rate. That was especially relevant for normal uh, radiation reaction and damages of normal tissues had uh, first and second rate with mixed neutron and photon radiation. We had adjustment of the some dose at the pathological lesion that was made by our physicists who work at our Tomsk Polytechnical University following the procedures that were designed back in the 80s. That's how they calculated the adjustment and the dosage. Thank you. Do we have questions? Please, questions. How do you... How do you bring together the proton and neutron margins? And how did you do that? Uh, regardless of the um, margins, we have the collimator that draws the poly radiation polymeter easily, and we marked the uh, margins of radiations quite easily with that. With proton radiation, we also mark the spot of proton being induction after the uh, CT mapping and uh, after the use of our mapping system. We try to avoid the so-called hot zones, so we did mapping at the patient uh, as such. That's how we did that. Could you please tell us, uh, we all are well aware that regressions at the early uh, radiated area is quite a challenge, and now all radiologists there to have a second radiotherapy. How often did you have late radiation damages like fibrosis and some other soft tissue damage? Thank you for the question. We were quite cautious in taking patients that had radiation therapy previously. But it depends on the type of original radiation. So whether that was a proton, neutron, or photon radiation. For some types of patients, we could decrease the number of exposures in order to avoid severe post-radiation damages. We also had a closed follow-up, and on two occasions, as two patients, we had quite an expressed radiation um, damages like radiation alker after two or third uh, RT courses at the backdrop of previous photon therapy. Of course, these uh, female patients were closely monitored by us and they received other types of supportive therapy. So we are doing our best to uh, avoid that uh, receiving patients for treatment. We have been following closely the uh, previous radiation history, crucial the dosage distribution neutron. 
Unfortunately, I cannot show that uh, with the existing presentation, but design of uh, the therapy was made by our physicists at the premises of the Polytechnical University. Unfortunately, I cannot say more about that. Thank you. Have you studied photomorphosis for the combined proton-neutron therapy? Thank you for the question. Of course, we did for the specific forms of breast cancer. For the swallowing form of breast cancer. No, I'm just asking whether you have uh, such clinical experience. Yes, we do have it, and there are a number of theses written on that. I work with that in the notice, and not that much nowadays. You showed quite an uh, old uh, materials with this mastectomy and so on. Now there are a lot of reconstructive plastic surgery. Do you think uh, can the technologies be applied uh, for patients with the reconstructed uh, breasts because they have completely different tissues? Yeah, well, our methods are quite aggressive as far as breast tissues are concerned, which is especially relevant after reconstructive plastic surgery. And we should take uh, double precautions when we administer this type of radiation therapy. Some hospitals are even afraid of photon therapy for this type of patients, not to mention the proton therapy. But I think it's quite a, an exciting challenge to go.